What's up, Dotson Man Diecast peoples, uh, Diecast Nation, Diecast. I don't. I don't know. It's early. I haven't done a podcast in a little bit. Trying to wake up, but I'm going to wake up with you guys. So bear with me. So it's been a little bit since I've done a podcast. I've had some really positive feedback. Um, from people that listen to my podcast or they listen to Diecast Breakdown with me, Chuck, and David at Twice Diecast. And uh, so it's it's really good to, I mean, anybody who enjoys this podcast, feel feel free to reach out to me, email me, or shoot me a message on Instagram, either Dots of Man Diecast or Hot Wheels for Hope. and just uh, let me know if you need to, I don't know, talk about something, express something, just say hi. What's up, Mark? Uh, because, you know, I'd love to hear feedback from, from people that listen to the podcast. So I'm just going to make this one kind of short. I do have another podcast to do. We're doing an interview with a customizer, Romeo. Um, if you guys haven't had the chance to check out the Diecast Breakdown, we just did a awesome interview with Bre- uh, Brendan Vitusky, Hot Wheels designer, current Hot Wheels designer, uh, amazing guy, amazing um, designer. Uh, you'll know him from that '67 Firebird, the uh, metal one with the dot on the side of it, '55 Gasser, uh, the Gotta Go, which is one of my faves. I love anything, you know, any kind of fart jokes or anything bathroom related that's just how i roll so those are very cool and so check out check out that interview if you haven't had the the opportunity so today i just have a couple things to go over just you know stuff you see on youtube or the internet or just in on facebook or real life just with the diecast community and you see so many good things and you see some of the negativity and i just encourage people just to continue to stay positive um the whole scalper thing i mean it's kind of a you know it's like what What's the use of complaining about it? Just do your own thing and uh, just, you know, I'm not saying to ignore it. I mean, definitely, I definitely like to speak out about just people being not selfish. Don't be selfish and hoard things that and take everything. Of course, you know, th- I just encourage everyone to think about others first. And, it's, and then you're, there's going to be a lot less scalpers out there if we can help you know change people their views i mean there's certain people you just can't change they're going to do what they want to do um you telling them that it's that it's bad and don't do it they're not going to change their ways so it's just something i want to talk about less and kind of focus on other things other than people scalping hot wheels cuz they they can they're going to do what they're going to do so i i can't change it so what we can do is invite people like that into the community and befriend them and still be nice to them and still love them and and maybe they'll change their ways. And that's really, um, it's up to them. But uh, you can do your part in just not being a selfish human being and be a very giving person to when you're out looking for Hot Wheels. I've definitely stopped collecting a lot of main lines. Um, I'm sizing down my collection. So I went to Walmart recently um, this week and there was some there were some new Hot Wheels, and there were some cool ones, and there was a lot of cool main lines. And uh, I didn't buy any. I, I would, like had about three or four in my hands, but then I realized, like, uh, I don't have to have these, so I put them back. And I think that's that was kind of big for me because it's like usually I would, I'd walk out of there four, five, six, ten, twelve, twenty, 10, 12, 20, sometimes just like I got to have all these, but I don't really need them, you know, and – I'm trying to scale down, and unless it's something that I like really have to have, then I'm just gonna leave it for somebody else, you know. So, I'm trying to scale down on my basics. Um, there was zero premium cars there, so I just walked out with no cars. But I did run into a couple guys that weren't collectors that were looking for Toyota to uh, the Forerunner that was just came out. I think it's a blue one, blue or white. I can't remember. But the two guys that were looking, one had the car, and the the other one, his wife had the the Forerunner, and they just can't, they couldn't find him anywhere. So that's the thing that gets me a little bit about people that are grabbing everything. But 
I can help them. So instead of just complaining about scalpers, um, I'm just going to help those guys find those cars. So they live locally. I got their info. I got their Instagram handles and, um, I'm just going to help those dudes find forerunners if it's the last thing I do. So I think I might have one and then I'll have to reach out to other people in the community and see if they have them or, you know, uh, have some other collectors that I know in the area look out for them so we can find these guys some forerunners because those are their cars. They really want them and they're not even collectors, but they just really think it's cool that Hot Wheels came out with a forerunner. I think another thing that was interesting when we were interviewing uh, Brendan Vitusky, uh the Hot Wheels designer, he was saying how, how difficult uh, how difficult it is even when he because he's had five of his own cars, personal cars, be Hot Wheels, and they don't even like send him like a bunch of cars. Like he has to go find them himself when they come out, and they're like all gone. So even his own cars that he designed and and they're his personal cars. Um, he has a trouble finding them, you know? So yeah, I would just encourage everyone just to like really think about others this week, uh, when you're out and about and it brings you just so much joy to be able to like think of others first be- before yourself. And like, do I really need this? Maybe I could buy this instead for this other guy that's really looking for this and just, just be mindful of others and just keep your eye out for stuff they might like. And you know, if you can't afford to to ship something to someone, maybe they can help out with shipping or something if they're out of the out of the uh, your state in a different area. Yeah, and then you know, just like with with the whole, you know, like give, like you just want to give more than you take when it comes to like this hobby and just in life in general. Um, so when you when you find some stuff that's really cool, sometimes, like I said. It's so much, it feels so much better to give than to receive. It's great getting gifts too. I mean, people take time out, especially I've talked about this a hundred times, but when people send me customs, I'm very blown away and I'm very grateful when people put the time into that. Cause like what that is, is it's artwork and it's time. Like you can't buy time. So if there's, if you don't have like a lot of money and you you're a customizer, you want to get into customizing things, I would encourage you just to like make somebody a car, make somebody's day because man, I've had so many people send me customs that really just made my day, made my week, um, made my year. I mean, I've got some really cool stuff and I know it goes into, into making customs. So I really appreciate it. Sorry. Sorry if I'm stuttering this morning. Just, just like I said, I'm still waking up. Um, so yeah, I just, uh, it's just one of those things with, when, with having a podcast and being able to talk about just like, you know, being vulnerable and your own problems and struggles in life. I think people want to hear about that stuff. Not everybody's got it together. So, um, I also encourage others to, you know, just reach out to others that need to talk, um, tell people your struggles and how you overcame, you know, how you overcame them. And uh, I think others can relate to you more on that kind of stuff. So we don't all have it together. Um, it's a pandemic. It's the economy is not great. It's talks of war, all that kind of stuff. But just keep being you. Just keep being kind. Um, love others as nasty as they can be. I deal with the general public on a daily basis. And yesterday people were being crazy. They were being crazy. So, um, but you just got to power through it. I was in a little bit of a funk yesterday because people were, were being nasty. They were like, you know, customers were, were being really nasty and it really sometimes takes a toll on you and you're in a funk and, uh, you don't, you're in the funk, <laughs> gotta have that funk. <laughs> so you're in it and you don't even know why you're just like in this fog, this funk and, um, you know, Kimber, my wife, was just, you know, encouraged me to, to get past it and get out of it. And it took a few. It took a few. She came and brought me lunch. And she always brings me treats and stuff like that, man. I'm so blessed to have her. Um, So, yeah, I was just, I was able to get out of my little funk and move on. And, you know, shortly after, I had a customer that was just a breath of fresh air and super nice lady. And, and that really just brought me back to 
back to reality and back to being having a good attitude about my day and, and getting through my day and not being uh not throwing a pity party. Uh, I think a lot of us throw pity parties well, even when it comes to like collecting and not finding the certain hot wheel you're looking for or talking about scalpers and how much they suck and all these different things and that's just a pity party. So I just encourage you guys to not throw pity parties. And if you do, uh just a short one and then just move on with it. Because there's people out there to help you and there's people to encourage you. And I'd like to consider myself one of those people. Um, really just count your blessings. You know, we have a lot of things here in the U.S. Um, that other people don't have. We have the opportunity to have large collections of, of die cast and, and to have things. And, you know, just always remember your things are just things. And uh, you can't take them with you. And they're not going to bring you joy deep down in your heart. It's a fun thing to have a hobby and to to create things, but it's the people in this community that like keep me going. Honestly, 100%. When I hear people say, "Hey man, you really helped me." Or you help you help me get through this or, you know, thanks for being my, you know, my friend um on the internet, talking to me. Those relationships are priceless, absolutely priceless. So just know there's people out there to help you. And not everybody has a hidden agenda. And, you know, what do I get out of this? Because it's those kind of relationships that you don't need in in life is the, if I give you this, what are you going to give me? And it comes to the same thing when it comes to like, if I give you this amount of time, my time, what are you going to give me a year time? And and everything's a negotiation. Everything's a give and take. Um, Just give with your whole heart. And, um... I think you'll be rewarded, you know, um, just be selfless and don't be, sh- don't be, uh, selfish. I always want to say shellfish. Don't be shellfish, man. Nobody likes shellfish. They stink. Have you ever smelled one? Like off the beach? They're gross. It doesn't smell good. Don't be that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that gal. So yeah, I just encourage you guys to be, um, to set the example and just be encouraging to others, uh, because you know, this, this life is short and there's so many people out there you can help whether you know it or not Um, you can help somebody with their youtube channel help them create videos give them advice um if they if they want it if they don't then then don't give it but there's so many different things i mean it's nice when you just go to people's pages on either instagram or facebook or wherever and just be encouraging to people leave them encouraging comments um, I've seen so much of that in the the Hot Wheel community, the diecast community, and it's really refreshing. It's very rare that I get a negative comment um, or people being nasty. It, it happens, you know, but you got to be able to brush those things off and not let it bother you. If somebody accuses you of something you didn't do um, or anything like that, you, you just can't take it personal and let it like just you, you can't get super defensive about it because it's like, why? It's this wasted energy, you know? So you just, um, you know, it's not true. Just move on. Or if there's always going to be accusers in this life, people that love to point fingers and to love to tear you down and not build you up and not take responsibility for, for things, you know, when they make mistakes. But I encourage everybody to to take responsibility for your mistakes, whatever it may be. Um, something you said to your friend, your wife, your girlfriend, your family member, um, if you said something that was hurtful or mean or you um, really dis- you know, like disrespected them or hurt them, then just take just own it and you know take responsibility for it. So, I mean, I do the same thing with you know with Kimber. I've said some things like that were hurtful or she didn't like, um, and she lets me know, and I say, hey, I'm I'm sorry truly sorry i'm not going to do that again i'm going to change the way that i that i say that or act so there's just um a lot of things that we learn on a daily basis in life and um, i just encourage you guys to be uplifting to the your loved ones and for the other collectors out here in the world Um, if you're just tuning in for the first time to this podcast this podcast isn't just about hot wheels or die cast it's about life and just you know 
building people up and encouraging people. And uh, I hope you, you know, enjoy that and gives you something nice to listen to when you're out driving or on the freeway or working at your job because there's so many negative things right now in the world um, with news and, like I said, talk of war and, and viruses and all this crazy stuff. You really just got to gotta press on and, and just, like, continue to be positive and to know that there's people out there that love you and that, you know, that God loves you. And and regardless of what you believe, that's what I believe. And I know it's true. And, uh, yeah, it's just uh, I'm blessed to, to wake up every morning. Um, I'm blessed to have clothes on my body. I'm blessed to have a, a meal every day. And I'm definitely blessed to have Hot Wheels and to be able to have, like, my own room to, like, modify them and collect them and stuff like that. I know that may not always be the case. But I also know if it was all to go away, that I would still be okay. And that I still have my, a lot of friends that I've made in the diecast community that are really, really awesome, incredible people that I can talk to about anything. Um and that we can uplift each other and not tear each other down. So, um, because I don't encourage that at all, of course. I don't think anyone does, but a lot of people do it, and they don't realize it. Um, just always make sure to like to bring people up, no matter what. Even if they're being nasty to you, don't just don't stoop to their level. So, that's about all I have today. It's kind of a shorter one. Um, I've been meaning to get back and do a podcast. So, I started a... A detail podcast. I've I've done a couple. It's Auto Peak Detail or Auto Peak Detailing. Uh, if you want to look that up, if you need something else to listen to, I've only got two. Um, one of them is just about you know just my detail journey on starting my own business because I started a detail business, and uh, that's exciting. And uh, then we've got the diecast breakdown, and we've got some really cool guests coming on. Um, I was just uh, sent off a custom. Dotson 510 to Yogi at Jakarta Diecast. We're sending him a, a box of diecast because it's hard for him to get stuff. But we're like, we just want to do this for you. And it's hard to get cars over in Indonesia. So it'll be cool to see his reaction to um, to holding my chromed out, you know, my polished 510 with my Dotson Man diecast logos on it, which um, were gifted to me by a really cool guy at uh, WW Replicas on Instagram. Um, He reached out to me and said, hey, I want to send you some decals. And uh, I was like, sure. And he sent them, and it just blew me away how nice they are. And to have my own Dotson Man diecast logos and put them on little cars is so cool. So I appreciate that so much. So, yeah, so on that note, I just, everybody have a blessed week. If I don't talk to you soon. Um, keep your head up, um, email me or message me on, um, Instagram or on my email is hot wheels, number four, hope at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, just give me some feedback or we can talk about stuff, whatever. So hit me up. I hope y'all have a blessed week again, and I'll see you in the next podcast. Peace.